Right then, so we're almost done now. We're almost there. But just one thing I want to, I just want to recap on what we've done. We've created a inner ellipse. We've got some strokes. We've got the ring of stars. We've got more strokes and our outer ring. Now, you know, we are going to create a flat vector. And at the moment, there's lots of layers in here, as we can see. This consists of lots of layers. And let's say, for example, we want to add a stroke. You know, look what happens. You know, it, it, yeah, there's all sorts of complications going on, and we don't want that. We want it to be nice and flat, nice and simple. So, for, you know, I think at this stage, we should probably look at beginning to simplify this object. So, if we take our strokes, for example, we want to turn them into shapes. So, let's do that. Select our strokes, and if we go to Object, Expand, we'll have a, we'll have a property window here. Fill, stroke, OK. Now what we've done here is we've created these into objects now. They are no longer strokes. You know, we if you look down here, we can actually fill them with other colors. So yes, we've so we've simplified that. And we've got our blocks here. I'll tell you the next thing to do is we want to select all the objects and go to Pathfinder click on this drop down box and click make compound shape click it once and there'll be another step expand boom now when we select all the object and click on a gradient it's it's treated as a as a singular here we are the gradient goes through the whole object i like i like a lot lastly we need to apply the text. This is easily done. Easily done. We're just gonna come off canvas quickly. By the way, if you want to follow along and you like this font, I've specified the the link in the description where you can get this font. So I'm quickly gonna put together this. Just by moving, moving it around, controlling our type. That's a bit big too. Quickly do this. There you go. There you go. Okay, happy. Nice one. Cut that. Bring it back. Okay, I am liking that. Okay, lastly, with the text selected, we need to go to type, create outlines. So now this is a this is a shape. We can no longer edit the text. But that's what we want. Let's change it to white. Now this is now two objects, text and flat object. What we want to do is quickly get the whole text using the Pathfinder tool. We're going to use Unite. When we click that, this is going to become one object. And that's, beginning, that's going to become our shape that we're going to cut out of this object here, just like we did with the circle, with the outer circle. So we're going to select the whole thing and we're going to click Exclude. And just like before, default, it's all white. We go back to our color, and we're back. And this is, again, a flat object. So let's, let's just make sure that's good. So we click on a gradient. Ah, what's happened here? By the looks of it, something's happened with these shapes. When we cut out that text, something happened. So I think what we need to do, just to override that, select everything, go back to the Pathfinder, and go to make compound shape and again the second step click expand and that should sort it out there you go so now we have our shape and here it is a solid vector and this will become very flexible and we can do all sorts of things to this now it is a singular we could change the stroke, for example. We could 
apply some gradients, some various gradient effects, you know, and it's very easy. I mean, we could even, you know, apply a 3D effect. See how that looks. Yeah. We could apply all sorts and do all sorts of things now that it's a sim single object. And that will become very useful in future for us. Okay, so now I've created and showed you how to do that flat vector badge. The ne Next up, I'm going to show you how to cut texture out of a vector and add a grungy feel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For those of you who were not previously familiar with some of the techniques used here, I hope you found them useful and find ways to use them in your creative projects. So have fun guys, and see you next time.